Um, well, okay, so what, so what I would say, if it's an honest question, which I'm still not sure about, but so here's the problem. Uh, here's actually what one of the big problems with software, right, is that starting in the 80s, so prior to the 80s, everybody was just trying to solve real problems and trying to get computers to solve real problems, right? And then starting around the 80s, computers got fast enough that you had a lot more leeway around how you solve the problems. And people started making all these theories about how to, uh, how to solve problems in the best way. And so object-oriented programming is like one of those theories, right? Oh, on the list of things in C++ that are wrong, object-oriented is wrong, right? Because of course, um, uh, uh, Alan Kay invented the term object-oriented, and it meant something else. It meant small talk, not C++. So, like, even the term object-oriented is wrong the way people use it. Anyway, um, so people came up with all these ideas about how to program, and then the problem is those ideas require entire belief structures, right? So if you go to program in C++ object-oriented world representation style, then you start to believe from the way that you're taught that programming work is about building the hierarchy of objects in the right way or something. But that's not actually solving a problem. It's just conforming to a belief structure that you've been given. After you've decided on that hierarchy of objects, you still don't have a program that solves any problems. Now you have to go write the program within that framework that you decided on, right? And so the problem is, as we get further and further away from real actual problems, more and more of what is taught to people as programming is actually not doing anything. It's just shuffling papers around on your desk, right? And so like the question of how do I do an interface that blah, 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 is just shuffling the papers around on your desk because it's not actually solving a problem. Like what I would say is write the editor and then write the plugins or whatever, write the functionality, make all the functionality work. And then if you're dispatching between them with an if statement and it feels kind of hacky, and you need more abstraction for a very concrete reason than put in a function pointer. But I wouldn't even do that. I would just have an if statement that turns them on or off for a long time because it's, it's actually a relatively, that part of writing an editor is so small and so minor in terms of what it solves that I wouldn't even bother for a long time. Um, on the other hand, if you buy into a weird structure or many weird structures, which is what happens in order to preemptively solve this very small problem before it becomes a problem, you end up taking on all these very large belief structures that are actually very hard to conform to. And you have to conform to those belief structures all the time because that's what, that's what you made your program be. And it actually gives you a much bigger job to do than you actually have to do to solve the actual physical problem that you have in the objective world. All right. So that's, that's the, the best thing that I can say about this. Like literally though, my advice about programming very generally is it's fine to know about all these things that people say about how to structure a program. But if you don't have a program yet, you don't have a structural problem to solve yet. So first make sure you have a program that does something interesting. And then if you need to solve something, you can refactor it to solve that problem. But most of these things that people say, they're not good.